Hello friends, it's me Chinamin Kaur. This is the second chapter in the Java multi-threading video tutorial series. In the previous chapter, we talked about using the join method and using the is alive method to check whether a thread is alive. And in this chapter, we will talk about exiting a thread properly. So the problem with this custom thread dot join this join method is that it will wait for 3000 seconds maximum and if the thread is not completed is not complete within that time it will kill the thread so the problem with killing a thread is that let's say for example this uh, thread was doing something important like database processing or file writing then killing it prematurely can cause a lot of issues the data can become inconsistent we will we may lose some data so all those kinds of issues can happen so it is very important that you should always close a thread properly without killing it this is killing a thread if it is not completed within that duration so let's see how we can do that if you look at the thread api of java then you can see that there is a method called stop custom thread dot stop but it is deprecated it has been deprecated for quite a long time now and it sta states that the method is inherently unsafe that means you should not use this method to stop a thread but they provide a good alternative for that they say that many uses of stop should be replaced by code that simply modifies some variable to indicate that the target thread should stop running which means they suggest us to maintain a variable inside this thread class based on which we should be able to exit the program so in order to do that let me create a boolean variable so private boolean should exit so i'm going to set the value as false the flag as false so should exit is false by default and if i want to force exit or force stop this custom thread all that i have to do is to set call this set should exit method and pass the true so by default this should exit will be false and in normal flow if if the should exit is false then we should continue printing this message but if the should exit or the exit flag is true we should immediately break out of the loop break out of the loop so <clears throat> let, let me show you how to exit the program now so a custom thread dot join cannot be called as of now because it will kill the thread so instead you will have to wait for the wait for three seconds using 3000 so this is similar to uh join with 3000 this will wait for 3000 seconds there's a difference that i will show you later in this chapter so first we will wait for three seconds and if the thread is alive even after three seconds so is alive then what we have to do is we have to set the flag custom thread dot set should exit true now so now when we set this should exit or exit flag to true this if condition will get true and this body will be executed which will break this for loop immediately so normally this for loop will take around six seconds that is 30 into 200 which is 6000 milliseconds to complete but if we set this one it will be exited immediately so there is one more thing i have to say that is custom thread dot join so you might be thinking why why we need this join method that is because let's say you are going to set this should exit or you just set this should exit value so that case is checked only at this point when you set this should exit to true the thread may be sleeping for 200 milliseconds at this line so it will take a worst case scenario 200 millisecond time to reach back to this if case and break out of the loop so we have to wait for a maximum or a worst case scenario case of 200 milliseconds before uh, before properly closing this thread so uh, this will sleep for three seconds then if the thread is 
alive after that time then we will set the exit flag and then we will wait for the thread to exit and we will exit the main program so let me just run this program and you, as you can see that the thread is running and finally it is displaying the thread is completed message because the exit was a proper one if you uh, uh, let me show you the difference if i was using this custom thread dot join method with 3000 milliseconds of wait duration then we won't see the thread is completed message that is because the thread wasn't closed properly it was killed in the middle of doing this for loop because when it when it was killed it was inside this for loop so this is the solution for stopping a thread you set a stop flag then you should set the exit condition and then you should then you properly exit a thread and as i said before there is a difference between thread dot sleep and custom thread dot join 3000 milliseconds in terms of waiting that is because that is this thread dot sleep will always sleeps for three seconds instead what this means is wait for a maximum of three seconds if the thread was completed within this three seconds then there is no need to wait to uh, uh, to meet this or to there is no need to wait for the total three seconds this is like a worst case scenario 3000 seconds so what we have to do is instead of sleeping three seconds continuously you will have to add this thread dot sleep in a loop so in order to do that i am going to set this in the maximum sleep equals six seconds and in slept that is the total seconds that we have already that is the total milliseconds we already slept and inside a loop while slept less than maximum sleep then we have to sleep for a fraction of that so let's set that to 300 milliseconds so just sleep for 300 milliseconds then increase the slept to 300 by 300 then check whether the thread is dead now so if custom thread is dead is not alive then you, you have to ex exit the program because there is no point of force exiting because the thread is already dead within that three seconds so system.exit in this case let me just add a sys out and here sys thread was completed within three seconds so i'm sorry there is one mistake this has to be three so three okay so I can remove this thread dot sleep with the above fractional sleep method. So the reason why I need is, let's say the thread is not taking six seconds to complete. Right now it will always take six seconds to complete, but in some other scenario it is taking only one second to complete. In that case I don't want to wait for 3000 seconds in the sleep method. Instead I want to close the program as soon as the thread is completed so if i run this program right now you will see that the thread we are getting the thread is running and we are getting the thread is completed which means the custom thread was completed properly and we will get this message thread was completed within three seconds so this is the proper method for finishing a thread without killing it so as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and i will see you on the next video